Hello, Mario. Session two, work safe. What success looks like. Well, my introduction to session two was going on a bit and getting longer and longer. So I cut it off a little bit short and I forgot to uh, show you what success looks like. And uh, well, it's pretty important that we know what we're trying to do and what success might look like, what might look like. So um, what I need to do is to revisit the Moodle site um, for session two and you'll see right at the bottom there I've got a little uh, a little thing what success looks like um, I was looking at the other screen there and uh, we better better go to full screen so that uh, you don't have to see the back of my head um, and this is here it is here down at the bottom what success looks like and this is where I put together um, a little bit of a, a thing as to what success um, looks like for each unit and I'm trying to trying to keep this up throughout the course so it gives you a bit of an idea what to do and um, yeah I use my alter ego there Stu O'Neill a uh, Stu Ideal um, and uh, he's uh, that stands for ideal student. Uh, Stu always gives a hundred and hundred percent and uh, gets full marks usually. So um, there we go with the thing. So let's uh, the first page is just our checklist. Uh, things to note about the checklist is that everyone is signed off individually. You don't just put one date in there. So each one signed off, even though it was the same date as I did each one and this is something with forms particularly of these QA type that you should go through and it's um, you know if you're doing it properly over a period of time it's very rare that you actually use the same pen all the time you might use different ones so it's a very organized person that has the same pen on on hand at every occasion so um, there we go through so that's our completed checklist uh, the first one is the quiz there. Remembering that the answers are available, of course, um, on the website um, elsewhere as well. So that's the that all filled out there. Um, there's the workplace accidents quiz um, answered. I'm just quickly go through these so that you, you know, don't get tempted to look at what the answers might be. Um, here we go, uh, here's an example of a JSA. So what I've done here is, um, this is um, students from a previous year's work. Um, you'll notice that they've spelt my name incorrectly. Um, it should have two L's, and it's, if you want to get top marks, uh, that's uh, probably not the best of ideas. <laughs> I'm not being active like that. But um, spelling people's names um, correctly is something that you should always aim to and check and double check because obviously if there's a mistake in the spelling your name um, most people pick that up pretty quickly so I've redacted the name of the student here so that means that there was a name there believe me there was a name I wouldn't lie to you about that um, so that's just the instructions so uh, this one here is for mowing a lawn so they've gone through the various steps, analysed all the steps and then breaking it down as to how the safety. Uh, top 10 survey hazards here. Um, this has been handwritten. Uh, my preference is that you would actually do it on a spreadsheet and I've provided the spreadsheet so I had a little bit of a screw up there trying to download the spreadsheets in the um, introduction but I have got that sorted now. So um, yes, they should be done as a spreadsheet. A digital at all cases um, but you know except where perhaps handwritten can't be avoided um, so that's the top 10 survey hazards uh, yours should be slightly different or could be different to that depending on your opinion and then personal protective equipment again done here we've got the um, the answers I've just written the answers in here just to note that 
the upside down star for inverted staff now is a negative number or you can put a bar across the top a line across the top okay so here's the exam questions with some uh, answers there the, the exam questions go up to 2014 from 2014 onwards we use the actual exams um, so because I haven't um, I haven't updated so these give you the pre 2014 and then 2014 on you've got the old exam papers uh, here's a filled out practical task so again uh, the names have been um, redacted there um, just to protect people's privacy and things like that so here we have our, our second uh, drawing in here um, of just a single uh, one change point here is uh, sufficient but if you did want to do two there's no problem with that and that might help you later on uh, here's your health and safety control um, this is the survey manager up here I've now think I've got a little uh, spot for that for the uh, health and safety manager so this was uh, this student's turn again names redacted and there's their health and safety uh, and a completed two peg test name redacted again um, there like that so we've got two we've got five millimeters there so perhaps uh, um, well they've put a thing that should have maybe be a yes now this is some um, information here um, of uh, some uh, some leveling data for a for the um, for the run now this is a reduction of the stuff from the run but this is one I did myself um, that's been included in there and it's using different information to here but the student your student information should be the sign same as in your written field book and um, yeah that's it and it's um, thing to note here is it's all put together in one PDF document not 27 JPEGs or 27 scans from your phone or Word documents it's all in PDF that's because everybody can read it uh, it's very simple and it, it should be all together so um, we have the functionality to do that in the actual um, WinTech CAD lab so you can do a lot of the work at home print to PDF and then do the compilation in the CAD lab or you may have some of your own software as well but really um, one document is what's required and that's emailed to me um, and that's where I, I mark it and what have you remember everything's a keeper and you get marks accordingly so um, I think uh, that's probably um, all I want to say there about what success looks like at the end of the day um, you know all of the hard work in that goes into a very small document and that document represents all your hard work and it's so it's important that the document looks good it looks professional um, <clears throat> and it highlights the work that you've done in the best possible way um, it's it looks professional um, so that's why I asked for one PDF document you know can you follow instructions um, you some students in the past have sent in um, you know 15 JPEGs which are in, in, in no particular order I might add too and so it makes takes me about half an hour to mark it um, whereas if it's in one PDF document it you know takes me about five minutes so uh, as you can imagine um, you know that doesn't <laughs> doesn't make doesn't put me into a very good mood so it becomes very difficult sometimes um, if that's continually happening from one particular student to um, to judge them you know their work um, on the same as anyone else because they don't go the extra distance just at the last minute there um, unfortunately that's uh, how human nature works so um, yeah it's, it's really worthwhile taking the time just to put everything together and it helps you to check and make sure it is right so um, yeah that's what success looks like uh, thanks for listening
and watching. Cheers! See you!